let's admit that pain is evidence against God. The God presented in the Bible is called a hidden God. He's not like the noonday sun. You can't avoid the noonday sun. You don't have to search for the noonday sun in order to find it. But God wanted us to search for him, so he hid. Pascal says, God gives you just enough light so that if you want to find him, you can. And if you don't want to find him, you won't. So finding him doesn't depend on your IQ. It depends on your will. In other words, he respects your freedom. He's like Romeo. When he proposes to Juliet, he doesn't bring along a battery of logicians to convince her that she's a fool if she doesn't follow the syllogisms. So God allows evidence against him, and he gives you evidence for him. As one ancient skeptic said, if there is no God, why is there so much good? And if there is a God, why is there so much evil? Well, I don't know how the atheist would explain all the good, but he has to, if goodness is an argument for God, and he believes that the evidence, good, doesn't lead to the conclusion, no God, he has to show how. Similarly, the believer in God has to show how the evidence against God, namely evil, doesn't lead to the atheist conclusion. That doesn't mean that even if my talk is totally successful, I will have proved the existence of God. It's defensive, not offensive argument that I'm going to give you. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.